every experience, everybody experiences two things. A changing object of experience and an unchanging isness. And Vedanta says that unchanging isness is your real nature. It's like, let's take the example of the wave and the uh, water. When you go out on the waterfront there in San Diego, on the, on, on the front, waterfront ocean there, you see thousands of waves in the Pacific Ocean. And imagine now a little wave which is born out there in the distance in the Pacific Ocean. And it's created. Remember, it's an effect. What's the cause? Water. It comes up as a little wave. And the little wave is happy. It has other little waves to play with, and it's fun, and being a wave, and it's rushing around on, on the surface of the Pacific Ocean. It's fun being a wave. But then soon problems appear. How? That other wave is mean to me. This wave is nice. It's, it's um, uh, friendly to me. Some are my friends, and some are not so nice to me. And look at that wave. Wow, it's a tsunami wave. I'm such a loser compared to it. It's so big. And that other wave, it's a bubble. It's just a loser compared to me. I'm much better than <laughs> Envy, contempt, likes and dislikes, all of these crop up. And this is all born of separation from each other. Not only that, the real problem of being a wave comes up. What's that? Somebody next to it, another wave says, that's San Diego. What's happening there? You're just going to go there and die. You hit, hit San Diego and you die. Die? Yes, that's what happens. That's the destiny of all waves. We reach the shore and we die. Oh my God, I don't want to die. <coughs> death, birth and death and difference and envy and contempt and friendship and enmity. All of samsara, the wave samsara becomes its problem. Now a Vedantic wave comes along next to it and says, look, look, you are not really a wave. The reality in you is something called water. It's within you, it's on top of you, it's everywhere around you, and all of us are that water. And that, that little wave thinks, where is water? I mean, I can see, I'm a wave, here's another wave, and all these are waves and surf and bubbles, but where is this water? And finally it begins to realize what is meant by water. Once it realizes what water is, it says, Oh, I am water appearing as a wave. Oh, this is great. And then what happens? All these other guys, they are also water. And they are me. Because once I realize myself as water, I am not limited to this particular wave. I am all of them. I am the entire ocean. In fact, all the waves depend on the water. The entire ocean depends on the water. It's the water which appears as the ocean and all the little waves. I am in all of them. How can I be contemptuous of a bubble? Because it's me. I'm water coming as a little bubble. Why do I have to be jealous of the tsunami wave? It's me. It's me as water. I'm all of this. Not only that, when I go and finally dash against San Diego, I'm not dead. The wave form disappears. I become spray. What fun. I become bubbles and I might become water vapor rising up into the sky uh, by the sunlight and so on. So let's not extend that example any further. But, <laughs> but you see, the moment the wave realizes itself as water, in one sense all of its problems are solved. Though it continues, the wave still continues, being a wave and will go on up to a certain distance. It will be just a wave. But it realizes itself as one with everything else. Now this pure existence, what Vedanta says, you shift your identification into the isness within you. Everything can be stripped away from us. Wealth, power, people, health, youth, memory. Is there something that is not touched? I still am. In spite of all of this, I am the isness which appeared as a young person. I am the isness which is appearing as an old person now. He said, no, Swami, it's still nicer to be a young person. <laughs>